Hello folks, my name's David Edgar, I'm the host of Heart and Hand Rangers podcast and this is take two of tonight's video. The first one, I apologise, had some audio problems so I thought rather than mess about with it or force you to try and listen to something that didn't have good quality sound, I'd do another one. That one was from the press room, this one is from the house. I uh, just got back after Rangers 2-0 victory over Hibernian tonight at Ibrox and it was a very, very solid and comfortable display by Rangers tonight, I felt. We asked for a reaction from last Wednesday, we needed a reaction from last Wednesday, I think we deserved a reaction from last Wednesday, such was the positive of that performance, and we've had it, you know, Sunday was a terrific performance, easily the best of season, tonight we didn't quite hit those heights, but in a game that's usually tough for us, um, Hibs make it very difficult for Rangers, they rise to the occasion more often than not. I thought Rangers were never in any danger of dropping points in that fixture tonight. Only the one change, Glenn Kamara came in at the side in place of the injured Ryan Jack. We did miss Ryan Jack's energy tonight, there's no doubt about it. But John Lundstrom continued um, his impressive form from the weekend. He was terrific, as was James Tavernier and as was Alfredo Morelos. Early goal helped settle the nerves. Ryan Kent going in at the box, he's halved. Stonewall penalty kick and upstepped half to dispatch it. Rangers did get a blow early on when Leon Balligan went off um, and Jill, the manager said in the press conference afterwards uh, no news on him yet, it'll be assessed tomorrow um, but hopefully it's not serious and he, uh, having lost him uh, I felt that Rangers looked a little bit uncertain for about 10 minutes uh, Bona Barisic came on and looked like a rabbit in the headlights he is very very little confidence at the moment and you could tell and I think that it, it sort of affected the whole team but then they began to realise that they were sitting back and, and actually lapsing into bad habits and then they got forward again started driving on and were unlucky really not to be in at half time further ahead into the second half and all the nails were settled with a terrific goal from Alfie James Tavernier slipped a delicious through ball Alfie at his best outpaced the defence and blasted it past the keeper for 2 nothing. And after that, Rangers were in total control, could have added to the, the, the total. In the last few minutes, Hibs came into it, but it was too little, too late. And in all honesty, I think that this was exactly what Rangers needed. Um, you probably can't play at the, the tempo and intensity that they did at the weekend. And there was anger in that performance in a good way. Um, anger is an energy, as John Lydon told us. And I think that, that you know, you saw that reaction. But in matches like this, you've got to go out and just be comfortable and make sure you're in control and make sure you're bossing it. And as I say, Lundstrom's return to form or finding form finally probably is more accurate has been very well timed indeed and speaking of timing that's something you know it was disappointing obviously that Celtic didn't drop points tonight but I think the manner of it uh, is going to be quite interesting I suspect they may have peaked a little bit too early whereas I think this Rangers team is beginning to peak at just the right time I think there's been a bit of complacency, um, not deliberate, but just subconscious from the team. I think they've always gone, Ugh, we're four points ahead, Ugh, you know, you know we're, we're uh, X amount ahead. And it was only really last week that it's came home to them that they need to fight and they need to get their finger out. A fire needed lit under them, and I think it has been. And now we've got two matches uh, out with the league. We, of course, go to Annan in the Cup of the Weekend. The manager said he will make changes to the side for that one. I, I think we would expect to see a bit of squad rotation. Probably expect to see Aaron Ramsey and Annan of all places. And then Borussia Dortmund next week is going to be one hell of a challenge. We haven't conceded... At Ibrox since Giovanni Van Bronckhorst became the manager. Uh, next up at Ibrox is a guy called Haaland, so that's going to be very interesting. Anyway, if you want to hear more from me and much more analysis of the match, go to patreon.com forward slash heart and hand, and from just one ninety nine per month, you'll be able to hear up to five hours every single day, all things Rangers. Thank you very much for joining me. Apologies if you tried to listen to the video earlier and it didn't work, and I will talk to you again on Saturday. Take care, everyone. Have a great week. Bye-bye.